Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It is. Okay, good. We're good then. Traders, you may be seated. Good evening, students and families, and welcome to Apprende's 8th grade promotion. We are so happy to have you here this afternoon. Just some quick logistics for the event. So the NPR right behind everyone will be open for any guests who need a reprieve from the heat. And there's also a first aid station back there. The restrooms are open back there. And there's water and refreshments if needed. 
After the ceremony, the students will go directly to the NPR. There will be stations set up to take photos in the NPR and in the gym lobby. So with that, I am really, really excited that we have finally returned to an in-person celebration, even though it's a little hot. And I'm so happy to see all the students and teachers gathered at the same time in one celebration. I am grateful to celebrate our amazing, amazing students. And we are thankful for the time that we had together this year. Students, I am so proud of all the growth I've seen in you, especially after many of you engaged in online learning for a good portion of your middle school career. You definitely made history as middle schoolers during a pandemic. I commend you for persevering through challenging times. Sometimes it's in our most challenging and atypical times when we see our true character and values, and I was so humbled by your grit, perseverance, resilience, and positive attitude. Through it all, you rose above. My hopes are that these last few years showed you how much strength and humility you truly have. And through this experience, you gained a greater appreciation for all the positives in your lives, your education, and the health and happiness of your family and friends. Tonight we celebrate your outstanding accomplishments and provide encouragement for all that awaits you. Without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Charlotte Gould and our ASL students who will open with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our advanced choir and choir director, Lilani Figueroa, who will sing the national anthem. Charlotte, ASL students and choir students, please come up now. So our ASL students are Callie, Grace, Ophop, Julian, Paige, Carter, and Delvina. Our advanced choir students are Brody, Addison, Amariah, Hayden, Tressy, Henry, Adit, Shia, Ben, Zoe, Gabby, Molly, Darcy, Zoe, and Alexi. Allegiance to be the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Charlotte, and our awesome ASL students. I will now turn it over to our choir. Would everybody please stand?
thank you, students. Excellent job. So at this time, I'd like to introduce a few important guests that are with us this evening. First on the end, board member and former Apprende teacher, Michelle Fay. The future principal, for most of you, Corona High School principal, Mr. Nathan Cleese. Our amazing assistant principal, Carl Nasuda. Our sixth grade administrator, Amy Violette. And our seventh grade administrator, Amber Palga. From the district, we also have the executive director of accountability and performance here helping out in the back, Dr. Susie Ostmer. So next in our program are the Individual Community Awards. I'm going to introduce our first award of the evening, and then we'll turn it over to Jackie Williams, our AVID coordinator and AVID teacher, and then Carl Nasuda for the remainder of the Community Awards. So this first award is very special to me, and I'm, I'm really honored to be able to uh, present, this, present it this evening. This award is the first annual Tracy May Memorial Scholarship. Tracy May was a beloved educator of the Kyrene School District who taught English language arts at Apprende since it opened in 1994. She had a passion for language arts and writing especially and was an accomplished screenwriter herself. Tracy had a tremendous impact on the thousands of students who walked through the doors of Apprende. To honor Ms. May's legacy and the influence she had on so many language arts students, her family would like to recognize an exemplar student in writing each school year. The recipient of the first annual Tracy May Memorial Scholarship is Paige Mikoski. <laughs> Paige will receive a $500 scholarship from the family in honor of Miss May. Congratulations, Paige. Would you please come on up? introduce Jackie Williams, AVID coordinator and teacher, to present some AVID awards. I also apologize that I have to leave early, but it's my high school daughter's graduation in just about 30 minutes, so I'm heading out to see her. So, Jag, congratulations. I hope you and your family have an amazing night. Very, very proud of you. Ms. Williams. Now I'll let Mr. Nasuda. 
Good afternoon, everyone. We have a few outstanding community awards. Our first one is the American Legion Award. I'm sorry, I'd like to, hold on. Forgot the folders. Um, these uh, American Legion Awards honor Americanism through the Juan B. Post number 35. Mason Johnson, please come on up. And Matilda Thompson. Our next award, award. I'm going to invite to the stage Ms. Terry Rowe, Mr. Terry Rowe. He will present our Kiwanis Award. Mr. Terry Rowe. Hello, Chandler. Hello. Happy. I'm the place fair Chandler, Terry Rowe. Uh, thank you for having me here today. I have a couple of nice awards to give out on behalf of the Chandler Kiwanis Club. And uh, so if I could ask Henry Hunsaker to come forward. And Lucas Escar Escargas Escargega. Hey, Lucas here. Acknowledge Henry uh, of Apprendi Middle School for displaying outstanding academics, leadership, and compassion. Apprendi is a better place because of Henry's impact on students and staff. And here's a hundred dollar gift card for you. All right. <laughs> hey, Lucas. Uh, Chandler Kiwanis Club would like to acknowledge Lucas of Apprendi Middle School for displaying outstanding academics. Generosity and compassion. Apprendi is a better place because of, because of Lucas, his impact on students and staff. Thank you, Lucas. And a hundred dollar gift card for you too, okay? Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Rowe and Kawanis. They're always uh, partnering with us uh, every each year for promotion. So we're we're very excited and thrilled that they're continuing that relationship. At this time, I'd like to uh, invite to the stage Ms. Olga Waterworth. She is going to be presenting the Slater Newman Award. Secretary, Kareem Secretary, 
um, a chorus leader and Diane Newman, and they um, recognize that students have other um, needs outside of the um, classroom. And it, they thought that some students need um, food, they need clothes, they need shoes. Um, so they established first Korean Kids Corner that will help those students. Right now, um, as of right now, the Korean Resource Center um, taken um, this role and um, they're providing support to families in need, offering stuff like free clothing, free food, and much more. Uh, the Karin School uh, Community Foundation and Karin School District partner in the operation of the Resource Center. And it grew from um, just being uh, them giving away stuff from the back of their um, of the car. Now it's a 2,000 square foot space with a storage. So um, on behalf of the Karin School Community Foundation Board, congratulations and thank you for making a difference in the community. There's not at all a gift card to each of you. Thank you, Ms. Waterworth. And again, uh, the Slater Newbin uh, uh, Award is very significant. It really does uh, represent Kyrene in, in giving and that Kyrene Resource Center. Our last community award, I'd like to invite teacher Mr. Selvin to the stage. He will be presenting our KEA awards. Hello and good afternoon. I'm going to call three students up to receive an award from KEA. Can I have Joshua Hayes? <laughs> Michaela Lynch. <laughs> Adria KEA would like to take this opportunity to recognize academic excellence as well as provide students with a $50 gift card to Office Max to help give them a head start in high school. Congratulations, guys. You're amazing. Thank you, Mr. Salvin, and uh, KEA is an awesome teacher organization. At this time, I'd like to invite Corona Del Sol Principal, Mr. Nathan Clee, to, to say a few words to our uh, upcoming class of 2026. Students, congratulations on your accomplishment. It took flexibility, adaptability, and determination for you to succeed in the last couple of years of your middle school career. Parents, thank you for your support, your continued support, your positive reinforcement, and being a role model for your students. Teachers, thank you for laying the foundation of success for these students. I know you'll be successful at Corona or another high school if you're attending. We look forward to having you on campus and become connected with our other students. We have plenty of opportunities for you to become involved and really blossom into a young adult. We look forward to you being an Aztec. Please pay attention to our website for opportunities over the summer, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Cleed. One of my favorite parts of the whole program is hearing from our eighth graders. We have three special speeches this evening. So at this time, I'd like to have Grace Wambacher come to the stage. And she's going to talk about her eighth grade experience. I'm one of 
of your fellow classmates and your student council vice president. Um, not only have I learned so much from teachers, faculty, and administration, I've also learned a lot about myself and my fellow students these past couple of years. It is my pleasure to welcome students, families, and administration of Appendant Middle School to the 2022 8th grade promotion ceremony. Here, I learned a lot of life lessons that I didn't know I'd be learning this early in life. I learned leadership in every that I would use in everyday life, and I learned leadership from being a student council, compassion for being a peer tutor, and confidence from the Jaguar players. I learned how to trust people and how to make friends that I know will I need for me and that I could confide in. I also learned tactics like how to take notes, study, and just learn better in general. Apprentice has this community that includes everyone and tends to people's needs so we can all work better together. During the middle school, everything looked very scary. I wish I would have just enjoyed it a little more and, and just lived in the moment. What really surprised me was that the first full year in this school would be my best and my last. Because if you think about it, none of us really were in this school in person for a full year until our last. Don't get me wrong, 6th and 7th grade were fun-ish, but my 8th grade year has been the best so far. Coming out of the pandemic, I learned that being with people physically is a lot more fun than seeing them through a screen. I learned that I need, a, I need the support and to trust people, especially learning quality over quantity when it comes to friends. You don't need all those toxic friends going to high school, you can just have at least two or three. I felt that this year especially that my teachers have taken into consideration more of the students and less of the curriculum. They've talked to us and not just taught us. One day I remember was when I had a very long day and I was kind of just exhausted. Some period came around and I was walking through the door to Mr. Schakowsky's room and he asked me right away, genuinely, genuinely concerned about me, are you okay? And of course I responded that I was just burnt out and that I just needed some rest. He said that today was going to be an easy day in general so that I could just put my head down and get some work done later. After this, I realized that teachers actually care about the students and not just cramming about a year's worth of curriculum into our heads. I've always thought that everything in middle school really mattered. I always thought that someone was going to look at that one test from third quarter and eighth grade and critique it. I just wanted to be perfect. Later, I realized that it doesn't matter. Just work harder on the next one. Added study tactics and note-taking tips that have really helped me with my study. Those are some life skills that I will take with me through my years, my school years and beyond. In conclusion, our experience at this class has been different yet amazing. Thank you to everyone who has made our last full year so special. Thank you to all the teachers who made us push to work even harder, and thank you to all the administration who has planned, planned such amazing events and kept our school in mind. And lastly, lastly, thank you to all the parents who have raised us to this point. Although it's sad to leave on Sunday, I look forward to making new memories with my fellow classmates in high school. Thank you. Well done, Grace. Awesome words of advice. Our final student speaker tonight, Elizabeth Neves, come on up. Elizabeth. I'm not that tall. Okay. Middle school is only a fraction of our life, but these will be the three years that we will always remember. We can all relate that one thing, that when something happens, we feel as if it's the end of the world. And we don't realize that everyone goes through this, at least once in their life. For example, there's always that one tall guy that everybody likes, or the cool group of friends, or the theater nerd. I see you. Anyways. But we all go through one thing together. In one way, COVID affected us all differently. Even if we were stuck on Zoom at home or isolated in the classroom, it didn't feel the same. We, I know personally that one week off of school made me really happy. But once they announced that school was online for the rest of the year, it was hard knowing that I wouldn't be able to see my friends and teachers in person anymore. But we still are here, which means that we pushed through it together. When we got to see people's faces, it was definitely a relief. But that's not anything. For also, after isolation, we may have struggled. We could have 
been feeling stressed from procrastinating a project, or your friend and you just fought. But those little things bring us down, and sometimes no one is there for you. Of course, we all have friends that come and go, but one person is always there to listen to you. That person will help you through everything. You may have multiple people by your side, but in the end, that one person just feels right to talk to. As we think, we need to carry advice into the rest of our lives, like high school. Through high school, unexpected things will happen. But after dedication and determination, this will help us get through it. After high school, life will be a roller coaster. But most of the time, you have to ride with it. So after every unexpected turn and obstacle that got in our way, we got through one thing, so let's go all the way. Awesome words there, Elizabeth. Thank you. At this time, we would like to now move on to our part of our program where we recognize students for the prestigious presidential awards. The criteria for the presidential award for this year includes students having at least a 3.5 grade point average for the first three quarters of eighth grade. In previous years, AZ merit scores from sixth and seventh grade were also a metric. But since we did not test in sixth grade, and not all students tested last year, we will, not, we will be only using GPA for these prestigious awards. Recipients of the Gold Award have a cumulative GPA of 3.75 to 4.0. And recipients of the Silver Award have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 3.74. On behalf of the Apprendi Teachers and Administration, we would like to celebrate the following students for working so diligently during their middle school years. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. New. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place uh, How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way From where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again Let me tell you when Go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small Turn to a friendship, a friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last time. Don't let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And 
every road you take will always lead you home. Oh, it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you
out my hand Oh, me say, oh, oh, me tell you to run All the way, all the way I'm gonna see my buddy on Those are words I'll never say 